Now, there are just some crimes that are too dumb to not be punished. Like, this guy decided to steal 67 different copies of Starfield in different varieties of rarity. But the rarity of the copies don't really matter because Darren Harris gave himself a nice little felony charge whenever he stole 67 different copies of Starfield, which all together, even at their base price, would have been over $4,000, which is well over the limit of a felony charge. And a lot of you guys are wondering to yourself, how did Darren Harris A get his hands on this many copies of Starfield? And then on top of that, how did he get caught? Because a lot of people buy and sell early copies of games all the time and never get caught. Well, as you guys see, Darren Harris is what you call a uh, idiot, an imbecile, a buffoon. What I'm really trying to say here is Darren Harris is not a very smart person because instead of him just going out and selling the copies of Starfield that he allegedly bought legally from what he was saying, um, he decided to not only sell them, he also decided to post videos of him playing the game. And then on top of that, he decided to tag Todd Howard, the lead of Starfield, in a video where he was saying that Starfield is actually a pretty good game. And a lot of you guys are probably saying, oh, well, he didn't put his face in it, right? He at least didn't do, no, he did that. He put his face in the video. <laughs> All right, man, know what happens. <laughs> that guy ain't smooth. For all the gamers out there who want a want a different type of game, that's definitely something to get. Um, it takes time. You're gonna have to read it. Can't just jump into it. You're gonna be just jump around how it was for a minute. Uh, Todd, no offense, man. <laughs> that's a good game. Perfect timing. About leaving the earth and all that. It's good stuff. Pretty swift, good moves. They were saying I play like a like a beginner, cause I'm not a game expert. I was just trying something out. That's a good game. Y'all don't want to miss that. Starfield for real. I'm gonna be honest here. I think some people like Darren Harris might need a caretaker because if you are this dumb to steal copies or allegedly legally buy them before they're released, then you resell them, something you're also not allowed to do before it releases. On top of that, right, we can understand why you would get the copies in any means or fashion that you get it. We will also understand why you would sell it in any means or fashion that you did before the game comes out. We do not understand why you would put your face in a video saying, that the game was good and then also putting evidence of you playing the game that is not even released yet and hold on before you guys click off thinking that this is the end of the story no this is not the end because not only that this man decided to post video evidence of him shipping out the actual real copies of starfield I'm about going to get my coat now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You have a blessed day. He decided to post that video on the internet so anybody that was doubting him that these were real could know, no, I'm an actual idiot. I'm actually posting evidence of me doing an actual crime. I don't think Darren Harris actually realized how big of a crime he was committing because I don't think he realized that, hey man, just because these are just video games doesn't mean they actually have a real value. Like you wouldn't steal a McLaren, I mean like, he probably would. And then resell it. Also showing like, yeah, man, I stole this McLaren from Mark Cuban's house. Like, bro, are you an idiot? I really hope that whenever he goes to court on September 8th, also, obviously he got arrested for this, that he actually just pleads guilty. Don't be like, I'm innocent. You're not innocent. You posted so much evidence of you playing the game, having the game. You posted evidence to the person you stole the games from. <laughs> Say, hey man, that was some good shit. <laughs> like, what is that?
And also, if he actually did get these copies, quote unquote, legally from Ventiva Logistical Warehouse, whoever sold these to him, you need to run because this man will 100% legitimately snitch on you. If he snitches on himself like this on accident, I don't want to see what he does on purpose to get out of a felony charge. This man already ratted out his supplier of where he gets brand new non-release copies of games. That's like snitching on the plug. Like, what is wrong with you? And honestly, like the philosopher of our time, Darren Harris is, he also got caught with three guns, one allegedly being stolen. So, um, because of course one of them was stolen. And obviously he's probably gonna say that it wasn't stolen. It was probably given to him by a friend or the same person <laughs> at the logistical warehouse where he got the 67 copies of Starfield. <laughs> Now, it's my favorite part of the video, my opinion. I don't care if he stole the actual copies of Starfield, but Bethesda can eat a dick after the last two games they released. If anything, we all should be getting free copies of Starfield after Fallout 76 came out. But yeah, in my opinion, and in most people's opinions, if you do or are able to get the game early, I'd be like, why not? Just get it early. No copies as you're gonna arrest you being like, hey, that's the brand new NBA. You ain't allowed to have that, hey. And if you think you can make a big business off of selling early copies of games, I'd be like, hey man, give it a chance, who cares? <laughs> Just don't get caught like Darren Harris. Don't actually leak the footage of the game if people online don't think you actually have the real copies. If anything, that helps you out more because the people that do believe you have the real copies are your real customers. And trust me, they will keep, probably keep coming back each and every time. Another thing, don't be selling your legal products on e-commerce websites. It's like someone going on to eBay trying to sell like the tablets of Gilgamesh that they stole. Like my guy, no one's actually you gonna buy that and there's probably some cops looking at you internationally now of course on august 24th darren harris tried to delete all his social media posts after the cops started knocking at his door and he got arrested of course they did that and obviously they found the 67 copies of starfield that he hadn't sold off yet and the three guns one allegedly stolen and the tiny bit of weed that was more of a misdemeanor that's more of just a tacked on charge like hey man we know you did something really big here but hey here's a little crime too to tack on here allegedly though allegedly i gotta keep saying that same with the copies of starfield allegedly those were stolen too but from what darren was saying these are legally obtained he has paid legal tender for this so on the 25th of august darren decided to post ten thousand dollar bail i i don't know where he got it from it must have been he must have had more copies of starfield that he sold off that probably was half the stash that he had right there and obviously now he's out on bail he's waiting to go to court on september 8th that's when we're gonna really find out what happened to my boy darren harris a few days after starfield is released worldwide hopefully they at least allowed him to keep one copy of starfield so you know he can at least enjoy his time out of jail like he did a lot of hard work to get those copies of starfield and especially he's like the modern day robin hood if the game's ready to release i don't care if you have a special release date you think is marketable i want to play the game as soon as it's done hey man all i have to say is darren harris uh next time move smartly you're like a modern day robin hood for us gamers you know we appreciate you and your hard work don't get caught Hey, don't get caught next time. <laughs> or if you do, at least have a receipt for all the copies of the new game that you're trying to sell off. Because at least then you can be like, hey, man, I didn't know the game was released yet. You know, I ain't even a gamer. It was them. You should look at them. <laughs> but yeah, boys, the moral to this story is don't get caught. And then on top of that, don't snitch on the homie who supplied you with the product. All right. That should be like second nature for people like Darren Harris. Like they should know by now. Hey, man, you probably shouldn't be snitching on the people who are supplying you with the product. But hopefully they do give him a nice little slap on the wrist. I don't like seeing my boys go to jail at all. It's, at the end of the day, it is just some video games. And at the end of the day, it's just some video games from Bethesda. I really will not shed a tear for them. And also, boys, if you guys have played Starfield early, no snitching on yourselves. All right, get on a second account. Tell me, what do you guys feel about it? You guys feeling it? Because from what Darren was saying, it's a pretty good game. I'm actually pretty excited for it now. But if you guys haven't seen Escape from Tarkov, it's actually make some pretty big and significant changes to the game. Click this video right here. And also, if you guys want to support the channel, become a channel member.